Welcome to the AP Physics 1 video lecture. This is covering momentum. The topic is conservation of momentum. So what is conservation of momentum? Well, let's take a look back at energy first of all. What is a closed system in terms of energy? Well, we can say for energy, a closed system is where the energy is not lost um, to thermal or drag. The energy of the system at any point is equal to another point in time. So when is a system open then in terms of energy? We can say for energy, an open system is where the energy is actually transferred out of the system in forms of thermal or drag or any other mechanical energy like sound or chemical. Therefore, what is the conservation of energy? Well, basically, it's the sum of kinetic plus potential for any state of the system is equal to the sum of kinetic and potential for an other state of that system. Using that idea of conservation of energy, you can actually think about what do you think the conservation of momentum is? The answer would be, if there are no net external force acting on the system, the total momentum of the system is conserved. So the mo momentum before is equal to the momentum after. The interesting part of conservation of momentum is that it actually deals with two separate masses. So here you have mass A, which is mass 1, and you have mass B, which is mass 2. Conservation of momentum deals with two masses. Let's take a look at conservation of momentum. This is our equation. So there's two types of masses then and they interact somehow okay so we're going to consider the head on collision of two billiard balls so mass a is going with a momentum to the right mass b has a momentum going to the left they collide then they bounce back although the momentum of each of the two balls change as a result of the collision the momentum before the collision is equal to the momentum after what is transferred is actually the velocity during the collision. So here's a question. Like this, ball A has a mass of 2 kilograms and moves to the right at 8 meters per second. At the same time, ball B has the same mass but moves at 5 meters per second towards the left. After the collision, um, ball A moves to the left at only 6 meters per second. So notice how it losses it can, its velocity. What is the new velocity of ball B after the collision? So let's label, out, let's label out everything. So the two masses are here. They're both two kilograms. The initial VA was eight meters right here to the right. Then you have a, this goes to the left at five meters per second. Okay, so it goes to the left negative. Then VA, the new one, this one is negative 6 meters per second. So notice it lost a lot, a lot of its momentum. So this one, this momentum has to actually gain, right? So let's see what it gained. So here's the conservation of momentum equation. Plug it in. Do the algebra, right? 30 equals to negative 12 plus 2 times V prime B. V prime just means it's the new velocity. So you get 21 as... Is that right? No, hold on. This is plus 12, 42. Yep, 21. Yep, 21 is the new velocity. All right, meters per second. Give me one second, okay? Yeah, so it makes no sense for this to be 21. It was too big. I, I made an error. So this wasn't 5. It was really 2. So 2 times 8 would, would be 16 plus 10 which is 6 yep then plus 12 to both sides you would get here 18 so once you divide this by 2 this would be 9 yes 9 meters per second would be more reasonable right because notice how much so this uh went from 8 to negative 6 so the delta here would be 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 so the delta here would be not, uh, also 14 as well, right? So 5, 9, yep. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, yeah. So the, because the masses are the same. So whatever velocity A 
loss was, so this was a minus. The delta here was, let me clean this up for you. The delta right here was negative 14. So this one would be a positive 14. So please understand that the total momentum of an isolated system will always remain constant. Nothing's lost. You see, nothing was lost here. All right. There are, there are different types of collisions that describe conservation of momentum. The first one is called elastic collision. It's what we did before. It's when two masses hit each other. Okay. Here, uh, one mass is at rest. So here, an elastic collision is a collision in which there's no net loss in the kinetic energy in the system as a result of the collision. So here, you can take a look. M1 here hits a stationary object M2 of the same mass. After the collision, M1 is now stationary. What is the new velocity of M2? So since M1 is now at rest, M2 will now get all the velocity before the collision. Here, you could st take a look. So this cancels out here. You could see that the velocity, if the masses are the same, the velocities are going to be the same, right? So if this came in at five meters per second and this, the velocity was zero, the fact that this velocity here is now zero, this is going to go at five meters per second, right? The, their collision allowed the transfer of their velocities. So let's take a look at the graph of the elastic collision. So the first one, uh, I will make this, let me make this. So this M1, so I'm going to make this M1, right? And I'm going to make this five. So it starts here, right? Five. And it goes to the right. So, and after it collides, it goes down to zero. Okay. And the red was M2. So this is going to be M2. Okay. M2. All right. It started off zero. Then it, after the coll collision, it got all that. Okay, so you see there was no loss here. So describe the center of mass of the two object system immediately after the collision. Well, you can say that the velocity of the center of mass does not change because the total momentum of the system is the same as the momentum of the center of mass. The center of mass must continue moving in the same direction with the same velocity as it did prior to the collision. This is going to make more sense if you look at the notes for center of mass, please understand for an elastic collision, kinetic energy is conserved because it says it right there. There's no net loss in kinetic energy in the system as a result of the collision. Three types of scenario for the elastic collision. We can see the first one, I think we did it like this. So here it had five, then it became at rest. Then the other one. Oh, so, so let me color code it for this one. So let's see, the first one is the green comes in. So the green comes in, let's say at five meters per second and it hits the object at rest and then now it becomes zero now it's a new at rest right so this is like m1 okay and then the red or orange can be seen as m2 okay it was at rest at zero so here i'm going to make this zero oh sorry then it goes up here so this would be, I got to change this because remember it went to zero. It didn't went negative. It went to zero. Yeah. Okay. So for the next one, the green was coming to the right. Let's say at uh, two, 
at three. Okay, it hits, and then it goes back at negative three. So notice, it's the same value three, but they change direction. So it came in to the right, positive three. It went to the left, negative three. Okay, for the orange, it started off at let's say um, negative three. Then it went to the right, positive three at the end. All right, next one, we take a look. So the green one, let's say it had a velocity of uh, two. Okay, then it hits, and then now it has a smaller velocity, let's say uh, one. No, no, yeah, because it's still moving. Okay. From before, then the next one, oh, let's clean. Let me do that one more time. It's a larger one, so let me make it a larger value. So let's say it was at four from the start, and it hits, now it has a new velocity of one. That would be much better, okay? So four meters per second, then it hits, then it has a new one at one meters per second. What happens is that the first one was moving, let's say one meter per second. It hits it, so it gains its velocity, okay? So whatever is gained here in one object's velocity is a result of the loss in this one, okay? And you could see how that all works because kinetic energy is conserved, all right? The next type is actually when energy is not conserved. This is called inelastic collision. And you're going to see it as the perfectly inelastic collision. In a in a inelastic collision, this is where objects collide and they get stuck together as a result. Because they do get stuck together, there is actually a heat transfer. Okay. So, but let's take a look at this mathematically first of all. A five kilogram <clears throat> a ball M1 goes at five meters per second towards a stationary object M2 of a bigger mass, ten kilograms. After the collision. The M1 gets stuck with M2 and moves to the right at what new velocity? Is the new velocity going to be greater or less than 5 meters per second? Well, if you look at this conceptually, the new object here has greater mass, right? So, of course, the velocity has to be lower. Let's see why. Here's the equation. M, the momentum of object A plus 0 because M2 is at rest equals 2. Notice it's MA plus MB because the masses are st stuck together now. Plug in the values, divide V prime is equal to 0 0.4 meters per second. Notice it is super small. Why? Because the mass is super large. The mass was 25 here, All right? Why is the new velocity so low? We can say that the new object has so much mass now. As mass increases, the velocity has to directly decrease. If you look at the graph, it looks like this, All right? Notice that the objects here, ma uh, they're their velocity comes to be the same. Their velocity, this is when they have the same velocity, but this is when the mass is combined. All right. So the question is, describe the center of mass of the two object system immediately after collision. You can say that the velocity of the center of mass of the two object systems uh, remains constant during this experiment. All right. Please understand here, kinetic energy is actually loss. The reason why it's loss is because for this object to, for the objects to get stuck to, to each other, there has to be a, um, heat has to be involved, all right? Next, um, this is a good conceptual question for you to understand the law of conservation of, um, of law of conservation of momentum, not energy, law of conservation of momentum, all right? So please understand that here you have the momentum before is equal to the momentum after. Here the total vector momentum of this system is zero, all right? So as the rocket burns fuel, you can say a couple of things. The total momentum of the rocket plus fuel is equal to zero. When the fuel burns, the total momentum remains unbalanced. So the backwards momentum, this is the backward momentum here, that it expel 
from the gas is balanced by the forward momentum. This is the forward momentum by the rocket in of itself. Therefore, a rocket can actually accelerate in empty space because there's no need to expel gas to push against the earth or air. This is how total momentum works in regards to moving an object. Graphically, we can see what's happening um, for the object. Okay, so notice that the object's total momentum is going to be remaining the same, but their velocity is actually going to increase over time. So let me do that for you. All right, so that is when the momentum equals to zero. The forward momentum, let me make that red. Let's say that went uh, blue. Let's say this went at two meters per second to the right. So the velocity here is two meters per second. To keep this balance, you would need a negative two velocity that is produced from the gas being burned or vice versa. I try to make it as straight as possible. All right, because then again, you still need to balance it out of the total momentum being zero. This is a classic problem. This is called the ballistic pendulum. A bullet comes straight in. So let's read this. The ballistic pendulum is a device used to measure the speed of a projectile such as a bullet. The projectile of a mass M is fired into a large block of the wood of the material and mass m which is suspended like a pendulum usually m is somewhat greater than little m as a result of the collision the pendulum and the projectile sticks together swings up with the maximum height of h so let's take a look at the momentum so when the bullet comes in it has a certain momentum so let's see here Let's see, let's see, it's small mass, so I'm four, so I can make it here. Let's make it eight, okay? So let's say this is its momentum, All right? Now, it's going to have, now it's going to um, have an impulse, right? There's going to be a change in it. And then there's going to have to be a final momentum. The final momentum of this object, right, it moves. Okay, so there's still going to be some velocity here. All right, so here, let's say when it gets just stuck together, so look, its mass here is going to be more, right? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the mass is more, but the momentum's the same, right? So it's going to be like this. Okay. So. You see the value here is still eight. It's eight blocks here, right? So these are eight blocks. So the red also has to be eight block, right? So the impulse that actually occurred was going to be zero, right? Nothing. Now look, let's look at the um, energy of the system. So at the start, it came in uh, with all potential energy of the, all kinetic energy of the bullet, right? So let's say this is 100 joules, okay? And once it hits, okay, all the kinetic is going to get, um, it's going to hit and it's going to start moving it. So it's going to go the mechanically energy of the block as it collides with the bullet. So this is going to go down. So let's say it goes down to um, 90 joules. And then this is going to be, let's say, uh, 5 joules. You're like, wait, this doesn't add up. Well, because there is an other one here, okay? Let's say there is an other one here, which is five joules. This is in thermal, which is lost to thermal, right? Then in the end, when the bullet swings up, it only swings up with what? 
Okay, it only swings up here with 95 joules of energy because five was lost to thermal. Okay, so this is how it will look like. During this collision, although the mass gets, um, gets stuck together, energy is lost to thermal. So not all the velocity from the bullet is transferred into the um, gravitational potential of this pendulum that swings up. All right, so there you go. That is basically everything that you need to know when it comes to conservation of momentum.